Hello and welcome to Guitar Tuition East London. My name's Daryl and I'm here to help you learn the guitar. Today we're going to take a look at how do you choose the right guitar for your child. Um, so if you've got a kid under 10 who's interested in taking guitar lessons or learning the guitar, we're going to look at a little bit what are the things you have to consider when selecting a guitar for them and, uh, and how do you decide which one's the right one for them. And also you've got limiting factors with kids as to their size, how tall they are, you can have a 10 year old who's an absolute giant, or you might have a, a five year old uh, who, who's very big, or you might have a 10 year old who's very, very small. So let's take a look at the, the things to consider. Now the real thing with, uh, with kids who are that age is you really need to get them to sit down with a guitar uh, and actually try them out. So you need them to, to sit down and try out the guitars that we're gonna look at today. If you do live in London and, and you're interested in your child taking guitar lessons, um, get in contact with us here, there's a link in the description below. Uh, I'm happy to, to have a meet with you and actually do this for you here. But I'll also talk you through the process, so if you're not in London um, and you want to go out and, and take your kid to a guitar store and try this same thing out, you can do that as well. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is sit your, your child down. You're going to need two types of guitars. You're going to want to check uh, with a, a three-quarter size, that's three slash four, quarter size classical guitar which looks like this, and also I'd, re I'd recommend checking with a full-size electric as well. Now I'll explain why. There are two things you have to consider when you've got your, your child playing the guitar, and it's one is whether they can reach this way along the neck, okay, and most kids don't have too much of a problem with that. The other thing is stretching this way at the same time, being pulled over the guitar this way, they've got both ways to go, it can be quite a big stretch when you're young, six, seven. So what I recommend is this three-quarter size will normally fit most kids from about the age of six up, but you know, if you're unsure about your kid, just get them to sit down with it and check that they can reach both ways. Very rarely have I ever seen the need for using anything smaller like a half size or you can, I think you can get a quarter size guitar, those are very, very small. Um, three quarter size is normally absolutely fine for this. Now the reason I say also to check them with a full size electric is because there's two big benefits to getting them a full size electric if, if it fits, and I'll show you how to check that. The benefits to getting an electric is one, it's going to last you forever, not just until they get a bit bigger, which is what this one does. And two, it's so cool for kids that it just gets them inspired to play guitar more because now they think that they can, uh, well, they actually can make the distortion sound and, and it inspires them to want to play even more. So let me show you what you look for on electric. This is uh, my electric, but electric guitars come in various different shapes and sizes. This one, now the difference is we've got a slightly longer neck than that guitar, but the body's much thinner. So you might find that your child can actually sit with this and hold it and play it okay. Which is great. Now you tend to find the electrics are uh, a little bit more expensive, but the cool thing is that it's actually more of an investment because you can they'll be able to keep using the electric until they're 20, whereas the three-quarter size they're probably going to grow out of in a, you know six months or a year or so. Alright? So keep practicing. As I said, if you live in London, Come and see us at Guitar Tuition East London. We'd be happy to, to help you um, work out which guitar is right for your child. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you would like to uh, comment about any challenges you've got with your kid looking at the guitar or what you chose, I'd love to hear about them and I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to us on YouTube. We've always got more content devoted to helping you become a better guitar player.